Hello and welcome to another Miko Lol stream. <sighs> Ghosty, thank you so much for 13 months. Hello. So today, hi chat. Sorry, I'm really thirsty. <sighs> so today we're gonna be making some spaghetti. Okay, listen, don't ask me why, but I was craving like school spaghetti. You guys remember when you were like in in uh, grade school and then they had the beef spaghetti. I don't know if you guys had it growing up, but beef spaghetti and garlic bread and a banana milkshake. Oh. My dad used to make me banana milkshakes all the time. That shit was gross, dude. I loved it. I loved it. Nicholas, thanks so much for gifting Devo secrets to me stream. Okay, but anyways, if you thought it was gross, we're gonna make the good kind today. The good kind. All right, we're gonna make it at home, and it's gonna taste good. Kanamic, thank you so much for two months. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Lumerous, how are you? Hello, oat milk. What kind of noodles are those? These are organic spaghetti noodles from, from Italy. Product of Italia. Italia. Buongiorno. Mozzarella. Lumerous, thank you so much for joining us. Love you, thank you so much. Did I miss someone? No. Nicholas, thank you so much for giving another sub. Aztec. Aztecarius, thank you so much for the 12 months. Hello, hello. So chat, today's gonna be cozy cooking. We're just cozy cooking. Um, I just wanna let you guys know. Guess, okay, listen. You guys, I remember I told you guys my weight goal was 115. Today, I weighed 118 pounds and I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was like, what? I was, it was so unexpected because I kind of ate bad yesterday and I kind of ate bad today. But tomorrow we're back on the grind. <sighs> Anyways, I've, I've, I've been, especially because I worked out last night, that workout I did, I swear to God, it burns a lot of calories. Like, like I feel like, it, sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to misinform you. It doesn't burn a lot of calories, but it does give you like a sweat. I don't know how many calories I burned, but like it give, it made me sweat. It made me just, you know, don't know why I did that, but anyways, we making Olive Garden spaghetti. <laughs> I'm trying to watch myself on chat. <laughs> Nicholas, thank you so much for gifting Godless and Sacred just on my stream. Daker, thank you so much for the prime. Hello, hello. Love your outfit today, thank you. So today I'm wearing this skirt, it's thrifted. This skirt was thrifted. This shirt was also thrifted. I told you guys I'm trying to thrift more and, and do the rather than, you know, do any fast fashion. So I'm trying, trying to Larry has gifted one sub to viewers. lower that end, you know. Larry, thank you so much for getting gifted so giving extra stuff to Chief Beef. Thank you. Yeah, today is like cheat days. Oh my god, so I went downstairs, chat. I hope I hope she doesn't watch my stream or anything. I went downstairs to pick something up. And there is this girl downstairs. She like works here. And she was so cute. Like she had this bright blonde hair and her face was like very like cute like obviously she was a woman but like her face was really cute and she had like this bleach blonde hair it was long and i was like girl you're so cute like she's just so cute like i don't know she was just very pretty um no i i told her her hair looked really nice i was like I, I should have said that she looks really nice. No, okay, that's what I said. Okay, okay this is what I said. I, this is what I told her. I was like, I like your hair. It looks really nice. You look really good. That's what I said. That's what I told her. I'm like, girl, like... Dude, she made my hair look like it was like... 
<laughs> I've gotten secure. I was like, is my my hair does not look good. <laughs> she looked really like she just looked very like put together and nice, and I was just over here like, you know, I was just like, she was a material girl for sure. Nicholas, thank you so much for giving another sub. I love you. Okay, guys. Today, we are going to start making the spaghetti. I think I'm going to start off with the garlic bread because the spaghetti might take a little bit of time. So, this is a milkshake. I'm going to have a milkshake. I printed the milkshake like four times. Someone gave me the idea to print my recipes instead of like getting them on my phone. And ever since I did that, my life has gotten a lot easier. So thank you. You know, sometimes common sense isn't so common. Okay. You know what? We're gonna do the spaghetti first because it needs to cook for 40 minutes. Nicholas, thank you so much for getting the real Rico. A gift to set to my street. Sup, mommy. Sup, son. Offspring, like I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I'm gonna bring a highlighter. Hold on. Nick told me I shouldn't talk really loud because. Nick told me I shouldn't talk too loud because. I think I already. Like, even on a normal night, I'm pretty loud. So Nick is always telling me, like, when we're walking down the hallway, he's like, shh. And I'm like, I'm just like a loud person. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. Okay, so. Heat the oil in a large pot, medium high heat. We use a Dutch oven, add the meat and cook until brown about eight minutes. As the meat cook, cooks, use a wooden spoon to break it up into smaller crumbles. Okay, add onions. Okay, hold on. We're gonna add chat please it's your boy ken just subscribe thank you so much nicholas for gifting the sub another sub i have a surprise for you guys at the end by the way some of you guys might have seen it already some of you guys might have not okay an onion onions okay stir in Chat, please. Garlic, tomato paste, oregano, and red pepper flakes. Okay, cool. Okay, I got this. I got this, chat. I got it. I got this. All right. Gotta keep it down. We gotta keep it down. We already made enough noise. <laughs> okay. So, is this a Dutch oven? I think I've heard of something called a Dutch oven. I don't think it, it was... I don't think it was, I think it was porn related. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I heard it back when I was like in grade school. Someone's like, do you know what a Dutch oven is? And I, I was like, no, I don't. And they never, no one ever told me what that was. And I don't wanna know, I don't, I think. I do not want to know, chat. I do not want to know. So, Leah, thank you so much for 12 months. So beautiful as always. El gatito no no no. En el enda. La prevención. La prevención. Ah, que tu mamá. Te voy a dar la permanencia. No, it's a si, it's a no, it's a si. Chat, this is a cozy cooking stream, please. Please, it's a cozy cooking stream. I need you guys to relax. Relax a little bit, please. Let me wash my hands. Where's my hair clip? I have like a hair clip that I was using. No, it's a si. Where the heck is my hair clip? Yeah. 
loud. Gotta put my hair up. I'm not trying to get hair in your food, you know? And the It's a TikTok dance, guys. You guys wouldn't know about that. You guys would not know about that. You have trauma, don't we all? All right, get 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 with everyone else. All right, get it, get it, get with everyone else. We all have trauma here. This stream is like trauma central. You think you think my stream watches me because they're normal? No. You think my stream watches me because you know, I feel like if you relate to me, it's probably because you're traumatized. <laughs> I'm sorry, but my hair isn't cooperating with you right now. You use musically? I am disgusted. <laughs> Not musically. And musically, you see that? You see all those grooves right there, and all the you know you guys see? You know, the smooth brains will never know about creases because this is how this is a complete opposite of what smooth brains look like. So so yeah. What's my favorite type of cheese? Mozzarella, I think. It's between mozzarella or brie. One of those two. Okay, I need to chill. I already know this is gonna be a lot. Ah! my day chat let me tell you guys about my day so today um, I decided to take a little bit of me time because Nick was playing video games all day you know so I was all like oh let me like you know Nick is like relaxing so I was like okay let me go let me go give myself a little me time you know a little a little me time so I leave and I do a little shopping um, and then I go to get a drink and then I went to um, the Asian supermarket. 
and that's and this encounter with this lady at, at the, well it's not really like the Asian supermarket that I encountered this it was more like the there's like a bunch of it's like um it's like a whole shopping center where it's like mostly like Asian food and like Asian skincare and like stuff like that so it was primarily Korean so I went to this store okay um and I bought a lot of plushies from the store I'm not expecting like her, her to recognize me or, or like remember that I bought a lot of stuff there last time. Um, but considering how she reacted last time, I thought she might, you know, remember. But no, she did not remember. And I wouldn't care that this lady did not remember last time I came in. But I went in there and I had a drink. And, out, and on this outside it says, outside it says no drinks, all right? It doesn't say no bags. It says no drinks. So I was already gonna put my drink down because it says no drinks and I respect that. And this lady looks at me and she's like, she's like, your drink. And I was like, okay, like I was already gonna put it down. And, and I was I was still holding my bags with me because you know, I, I don't like leaving my things that the things I just bought next to the door. And she's like, no, your bags too. And I was like, lady, are you assuming I'm gonna steal? She gave me this whole attitude. Like she gave me some some fucking attitude. And I was like kind of like I was like super annoyed. And you know what? This is the this is the shitty part. This is the shitty part. She was like, no, your bags too. And I was like. I was like, that's kind of sus. I don't like that. I think that's very weird and that's very rude. And I don't know why I had to leave the things I just bought at the door where someone could probably steal them. Like that I, I was like, I just thought that was weird. Anyways, when I pointed at this big item in her store that I was gonna buy because I went in there specifically for that item because last time I was there she was nice Suddenly when I pointed to the most expensive thing there The most expensive plushie she has there. I'm like, can I have that one? Suddenly her mood changed and she was like, oh Oh, yeah, you must be rich <laughs> And I was like Oh, so now we're nice. Now you're being nice to me. That's quite interesting. She was following me around the store as well, by the way. She was following me around the store. So we came from the front. She told me to put my stuff down. She said, your bags too. So I put my bags down, even though I did not want to. And then she followed me to the back of the store where all the other plushies were. She like was following me. So she was like eyeballing me as I was looking around. If I would come this way, she would have come this way. If I would come that way, she would have come that way. And I was like, and she definitely, it's not like she was trying to help me, okay? She was just, it was just being, it was just being rude. Um, until I pointed out to the most expensive plushie that is, was in her store, then suddenly her demeanor changed and she was like very nice. And she was like, oh, you must be rich. And I was like, <sighs> I was like, yeah, no, it, you know, I just really like this plushie. And she, I gave her my card, and I have the carrot card, so it's like this metal card. And she's like, oh, this is so heavy. And I was like, yep. And then suddenly she was like, oh, let me help you out. It was like the weirdest thing ever, and I was just like, you know, lady, you probably had a really bad day. I don't know. I don't know who you were dealing with that day that gave you a bad attitude. Your store was empty. Her store was empty. So I don't know who gave her this attitude uh, or who ruined her day, but the store was empty. And uh, I was just like, whatever, dude. I was like, it was just really rude. And I've never had that happen to me when people are like following me around the store. Um. Anyways, I was I was just in my in my in my head I was just like I'm never coming here again. It was just very weird. Okay, so then I leave, alright? Then I leave with my big plushie because I specifically went there for for, for that. 
and then I go get some gas, I start going home. Okay? I start going home. Um, someone else pissed me off today. I just forgot who. It must not, they must have not pissed me off that bad because because um, I don't remember so but anyways so so then so then I went to uh, James knows exactly the lady I'm talking about too right you know who I'm talking about right James okay um, so then I'll show you guys a plushie at the end of the stream so then, um, so then I went home, and I was like on my way home, and yada yada yada. So as I went home, I was as I as I was coming home. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's so nice. I think last time we were there, she was also following us around. But at that time, I thought she was being like trying to be helpful. Um. Okay, so I was on my way home, and. They're like doing like power washing here, so they say so they don't allow anyone in the in the building unless you have like your resident pass. I mean, they normally don't allow anyone in the building unless you know someone in there, but like they weren't allowing anyone, no one, not no visitors unless you're uh, you live in the building. So I was trying to open it because the sensor that they gave me for my car, like it didn't, it wasn't working. So I was like, well, that's nice, like that's really like super convenient. So I couldn't get into my own house. And then, as I was trying to back out, this guy decides, oh, I'm just gonna walk straight behind this car that's trying to back out. But luckily he walked by really quick, so by the time I saw him as I was backing out, like he already like crossed, but I saw like the little end of him, you know? And I was like, okay, that's annoying. Like, I don't know why the fuck you're trying to cross while there's like a bunch of cars trying to get in, but okay, dude. And then, as I was trying to back out, there was like three cars behind me trying to back up as well. And this girl that was coming out of my apartment building, out of the other side, she was gonna like, okay, so this is me backing out, and this is the street. You know, this is the street, there's one lane, here's two lanes, and then I'm backing out into the street like this. And she was gonna go like this. Let me see, let, let, me, let me give you guys an example. Okay, so I'm backing out from here, and I was gonna go like this. I'm backing out. And this is the street, here's one lane, here's two lanes, and then she was gonna go like that, okay? And as I was backing out, I was still within like the, this is the line that separates the two lanes, okay? I was still like within the line. And the girl that was coming out, she's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I was like, I was like, I already had to deal with some bullshit today. I'm not the fucking one. I'm not the fucking one today. I'm not the fucking one tomorrow. I'm not the fucking one the next day, bitch. Like, do not fuck with me right now. Do not fuck with me. Sorry. <laughs> do not fuck with me right now. Um, I was just like, she was giving me like con a condescending mood. Like, I wasn't even in her way. I was just trying to back out. I was like, she was giving this condescending mood. She was like, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I was like, I didn't even say anything, chat. I didn't even say anything because, girl. <sighs> she was being super condescending to me and I was like, girl, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I'm not the one today. I'm not the <laughs> Woo! And I just ignored her and I backed out and uh, eventually I got into the building. <laughs> But anyways, I was I was not like I was <laughs> I was getting so mad. <laughs> so then I called Nick and I was I was I was yell I was not yelling at Nick. I was like loudly telling him what was going on and like the people that pissed me off today and like how people were being so rude and how this guy was dumb for coming and walking behind my car as I was trying to pull out like oh yes, this is the girl this is the other girl that pissed me off today. At the shopping center, this girl, okay, this is my car, like I'm right here, and my and the girl is like, I don't know, like 20 feet that way, okay? 
this girl just randomly sprints out of the bushes and I'm like slowly driving like because obviously we're in a shopping center you don't want to drive fast and she just sprints out of the bushes and I'm like girl what are you doing you like you know you're a liability you can't just be coming out of the fucking bushes like that <sighs> do I have bad luck or something maybe so two people just ran out in front of like two people ran out in front of me and behind me today and that pissed me off and then this lady that was thought i was gonna steal in her fucking store that no one that no one was at lady no one was in your fucking store and i could see why because you're rude as fuck and then this condescending as a bit in my freaking house sorry in my freaking apartment complex she was giving me a condescending ass look, like voice, and I'm just like, <sighs> the universe is trying me today. But I passed all the tests because I was still nice, all right? I still bought that plushie from that lady that was assuming I was gonna steal, you know? I don't know, lady, was I not the right skin tone for you? Like, I don't know. Interesting. Had me put my bags down. But yeah, that was what, how my day went. It says cook for self minutes. Cook for five minutes. was giving me today but I passed all right didn't cuss out the lady that like thought I was gonna steal from her store didn't cuss out the lady that gave me a condescending mood rude fucking tone when she was trying to get out of the building I was not in any way in her way all right I called up Nick on my way to park in my parking spot and I was all like and this happened and this happened and I'm, I'm so fucking pissed like what the fuck like how are people so fucking stupid? Blah, 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 blah. Like I was like going off and Nick was all like, breathe. He's like, breathe positivity. And I was like, okay, positivity, positivity. And I was all like, okay, positivity, just positive vibes. But I passed the test chat. I didn't cuss anyone out today. I didn't cuss anyone out today. I've never cussed anyone out, actually. That, like, any, like, random person. Surprisingly, I've kept my cool quite often. Like, a lot. That's actually my favorite thing, though, chat. My favorite thing though, my, one of my favorite things is showing up people that think you can't afford something. Like obviously this lady thought I was gonna steal and then I ended up buying like the most expensive plushie in her, in her store thanks to you guys obviously because that's why I bought the plushie. Um, and she's like, oh, I'm like, fuck you lady, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I hate you, I'm never coming back to your stupid store again. And it's empty for a reason. Because you're rude as fuck.
I'm confused. It says garlic, but where's the garlic? Oh, three cloves of garlic minced. Okay, cool. So I have garlic here. So we're gonna add it. I'm just gonna assume three cloves of garlic is like three teaspoons or like a half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna just add three like this. Tomato paste, we got the tomato paste right here. Okay, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Two tablespoons? Yeah, two tablespoons, okay. Two tablespoons. One. I'm gonna do that, that's two. I know it looks like a lot, but you know, a little extra delta. Teaspoon of dried oregano. Chat, how you doing over there? Beetle, thank you so much for the nine months. Thank you, thank you. Teaspoon, teaspoon, teaspoon. Anyways, chat, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm probably the nicest person I've ever met. I'm not gonna lie. I passed way too many tests from the universe in the past 24 hours. Way too many tests. Stay cool, stay calm. 
I would say I'm probably the nicest person I've ever met. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Anyways, um. Bark at me before I was scared. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you saying? A pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. This chili powder. Chili flakes, okay. Red pepper flakes. Just a little pinch. Nothing too fancy, okay? Nothing too fancy. Just a little pinch. Just a little boop, 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 boop. Like that. Just a little. All right, all right, all right, all right. Crushed red pepper flakes. All right, so we already added everything. It says pour water and, and a wooden spoon to scrape up the bits of meat and onion stuck at the bottom of the pot, stir in the tomatoes. Okay, let me put, let me highlight this. Pour in the water. Sorry, I have to highlight like the, the parts because like my brain can't just like, for some reason. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna add water, one cup of water. tomatoes oh did I ask for crushed tomatoes James I probably didn't ask for those not bad not bad um I think I might have some right here how many guys have seen stranger things yet I heard the girl that plays uh Cassie streams Valorant. I was excited to hear that she streams, and then someone said Valorant, and I was all like, oh, she's a hardcore gamer. No! You know, everyone, anyone that's sucked in by Valorant, like, you can't, you can never take them away from Valorant. I don't know. It's, Valorant's kind of like Vecna, like dead ass. Valorant is kind of like Vecna, like you can't pull people out of there too easily. So annoying. Valorant is dead ass like Vecna. Like once you try Valorant, like there's no going back. There is no going back. <sighs> really, thank you so much for the team up. Like League, I haven't played League in two days. Okay. I haven't played a league in two days. Three fourths teaspoon of salt. Three fourths teaspoon of salt.
It says three fourths teaspoon of salt, but I'm just gonna put one teaspoon. Mm -hmm. I am Mexican, I like being salty. Okay. What do we do next, chat? A generous pinch of black pepper. Medium grind. Generous pinch. You don't gotta tell me twice, you don't gotta tell me twice. Ah! Bring sauce to a low simmer. Okay. Uncover at low simmer for 25 minutes. As it cooks, stir and taste the sauce a few times so you can adjust the seasons accordingly. About 15, 15 minutes before the sauce finishes cooking, bring a large pot of salted water to boil and cook the pasta. Okay. Okay, 25 minutes. Joshua, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. I'm not making milkshake, milkshakes and spaghetti sauce. Hello? What kind of person do you think I am? Okay, salted water, boil, spaghetti. to the left? Is that like a rule?
Dutch master is some kind of wrap. Dutch master sounds like a grill. Like, make sure to buy the Dutch master 3000. You can build, you can make barbecue ribs. You can make hamburgers on a Saturday night. You can make hot dogs for the whole family. The Dutch Master 3000. Sorry, I should probably keep it down. <laughs> if it ain't 3000, I don't want it. True. Fat. Hey, you should fight, fight Minx in the next boxing match. You could take her. No. 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 No, thank you. No, thank you. I'd like to, you know. You know, yeah, no. I'm okay. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to lose, all right? Simply, I just simply cannot. Minx is insane. She's too good. I can't. I just, I literally cannot. I could be the ring girl, though. I would be like... Round one. Okay, that's it. That so I could be the ring girl next time. I'll, I could do that. <laughs> I just watch myself back on this fucking iPad and I look hilarious. Round one. Fight. Okay, so these forgets say boil for ten to thirteen minutes for desired tenderness. Got it. was also a gift from Nick's mom. Thank you, Mudkip. I hope you're doing well as well. Welcome back. Hello, Gerardo. How are you? the stream with Pikachu and I'm gonna throw it because we've donated so much moolah. Okay. 
actually not supposed to be eating anything hard because of um, because of my teeth. So I just got my molars taken out. But. Not gonna lie, when I was hungry, I would burn these in the in the fire like this. I would burn these in the fire and then they look like that and then I'd eat them. When I was hungry. My mom was not always there to make us food. Spaghetti coming along. I don't know, you tell me. Pick a spaghetti. Any spaghetti. Pick a spaghetti chat. Any spaghetti. Pick. Was this your spaghetti? I thought so. I thought so. You're welcome. that ass that they just get like a bunch of like hay and then they twist it and then they put like some kind of metal thing here and then they go and that's a broom pass the dodger to the left hand side pass the dodger to the left hand side It's an old song. Well, how am I supposed to know? I learned it from Stranger Things like a week ago. Within Dallas city limits, I believe, if I if I remember correctly. This mic is dirty. That mic is definitely not dirty. It just it's like silver, so it looks probably dirty, but it's not. Nicholas, thank you so much for gifting Sap Cap. I give this up to my stream. It's decriminalized. Yes. Chat, you know. Don't worry about how I know that. Don't worry about it. Some things you just don't ask, okay? Some things you just don't fucking ask, okay? You don't gotta fucking ask about everything that, you f that fucking comes out of my mouth.
Okay, let's see, let me see what the next steps are. So, um, about 15 minutes before the sauce finishes cooking, bring the blah, blah, blah. To finish, take the pasta sauce off the heat and stir in the basil. Toss in the cooked pasta and leave it for a minute so that the pasta absorbs some, so some sauce. Toss it again and then serve with Parmesan on top. Let's go! I'm ready. I'm so freaking hungry. And then we're gonna make, then we're gonna make some garlic bread and a milkshake. Mm. Yeah. 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 Whoop, 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 whoop. I want to say you're good. Oh, my goodness. Give me some noise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And yes, I'm going to do more cosplays when I come back from my trip this from uh, New York. I need that pasta to cook and cook well. Okay guys, if you put exclamation mark menu, you should be able to see the recipe. Uh, with that being said, we are done with this. We should start looking at this garlic bread here. Parmesan? Parmesan. Parmesan. Combine the garlic, butter, and oil in a microwave. Okay, cool. Make me wanna jump and dance. Make me jump and dance. Make me jump and dance. For the gabagoo, the mozzarella. I can't get that song out of my head. It's so fun to sing. Parmesan. It's a really nice butter. If you guys are gonna use any butter, use this one. I put gas today on in my car, and because I decided that I wanted a cute little Barbie BMW, um, I have to put in the Supreme. So I'm not even gonna lie. I'm from California, so gas prices have always been like the norm for for me. Like I've always seen four or five dollar gas prices where I where I grew up in California so it was like normal but today I saw five dollars and sixty cents and I think it took like almost a hundred dollars to fill up my tank and I was like I was like damn I was like damn those weed donations came in clutch <laughs> I was like damn those weed donations came in clutch not gonna lie <laughs> I'm gonna keep Vadia. Uh, no, I just require like the Supreme uh, gas um, for the type of motor that my car has. Yeah, uh, it, it was five dollars and sixty cents the gas that I that I. And I was in the middle of nowhere in Texas. Middle of literally nowhere in Texas. Nowhere. Middle of nowhere. Like no meme, no joke. There's nothing around there. Aside from like a gas station and like the two uh, Korean shopping centers. And like, I think far away is like the residential areas. Canada 
is eight dollars a gallon or eight Canadian a gallon? There was some freaking moron in that there was like these Canadians that recorded this like moron and he was filling up his the back of his truck with Canadian gas because it was cheaper I think or something and uh he was like he was he was like filling up his like lifted truck like the like the back thing I don't know You have a Prius? No, I definitely want to get an electric car as like my my next car or something that's like a hybrid of an electric car. Um, hope, hoping that it's better for the environment. But I wanted to get my dream car first because I don't know, the car I do have is like my dream car. You guys might be like, but Nico, what about a Lambo, a Ferrari, some kind of supercar? Listen, I don't need a $100,000 car, okay? I'm a humble person. I'm a humble person, I'd have to say, when it comes to cars. When it comes to clothes, I might actually, like... When it comes to clothes, I actually, like... I I am a little bit guilty of that. I just really love shopping, I'm not gonna lie. But with cars, you know, I don't need... I don't need a $100, 100K supercar, you know, I don't. We want you in a Tesla. Listen, I'm not the biggest fan of Elon Musk, I'm gonna be honest to you. Um, I'll think about it. I have to see the pros and cons, you know? Truck, so no, I wouldn't get a Hummer. I don't think. I'm, I'm not a big truck pet fan. Like, I don't don't hate me. I know a lot of people are very passionate about your trucks, but I feel like unless you're doing construction or doing like some kind of like heavy, like that you need, you know. A, a truck. I don't know why anyone really needs a truck. They are huge gas guzzlers. Trucks. Personally, I'm not a big fan of trucks. Alright? You can judge me if you want. If you guys think I'm the villain, then let me be the villain. Isn't owning a truck a Texas law? You would think it is, right? You would think it is. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Olive oil. I love olive oil so much. Like, dead ass olive oil is, like, delicious. Okay. 
olive oil. Where the frick is all? Oh, here it is. I love olive oil. It's not static, it's the, it's the fans turned on. <clears throat> One level of crusty bread, chopped parsley, okay. Chopped parsley, um, I think it's at that basil, I'm not sure. James, did you have any basil? Because I don't remember if I asked the basil or not, probably not. You know what, probably not. butter but I'm just gonna assume like it says two tablespoons but we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut this down the middle <laughs> and this is this is like two sticks of butter pretty much if you cut it like straight down the middle it's two sticks of butter <clears throat> and two tablespoons of butter I think is kind of like I think this would be like, I'm just gonna do half a stick of butter. <laughs> I'm just gonna do half a stick of butter, okay? Okay, half a stick of butter and then fresh parsley, but I don't have fresh parsley, I don't think. Oh yeah, I have dry parsley. I don't think I got fresh parsley. I think I forgot, I forgot to ask James for fresh parsley. I'm just gonna put dry parsley, because why not? Okay. Um, am I missing something? Oh no, okay, cool. Oh, this is very hot, okay. Huh? No, I'm gonna leave the fan on. I was just trying to use the microwave. Uh, it's the fan. What? I can't, it's automatic. It doesn't let me turn it off.
the chat, does that look about right to you guys? That looks about right. I think. I think. Indubitably, 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 and extraordinarily, it does indeed look delicious. Okay, so I'm trying to like squish this butter. We're gonna cook this for. Spread it. I'm just gonna put 10 minutes. Like I don't know if that's the right amount of time, but it smells really good. I'm just gonna add a little salt because I add salt to everything. Thank fucking God. Okay, so we're gonna get this bread here. This Whole Foods Market French baguette. Le Français. Le Francais baguette. Real 
Where are my brushes? My brushes, mate. Where are they? I have a couple of brushes. the brush. It's kind of a little warm. Alright, we're gonna This smells really good. This, um... This butter, this garlic, it smells really delicious. I think that, I think it's fine. Okay. I put this in here. All right, all right. Okay, and the last thing we have is this milkshake. All right, babe, do you want your food first? Uh-huh. You can't hear me, I don't think. Babe, do you want your food first? Yeah. Okay. Do you want cheese on it? Do you want cheese on it? No. Okay, do you want garlic bread? Yeah. Okay, then you're gonna have to wait for the garlic bread just a little bit. chat i'm gonna serve a nicholas get his bread and then we're gonna make the milkshake at the end um i forgot to ask james for whipped cream but it's okay it's a, it's it's okay it's all right you don't want parmesan cheese on it you don't want parmesan cheese on it no cheese that makes me sad Chat, this was expired 518. Okay, well this cheese is not good anymore anyways. Okay, that's unfortunate.
Okay, so in the meantime, let me explain to you guys about this, the best ever banana milkshake. Two peeled bananas, half a cup of vanilla ice cream, one half a cup of whole milk, and one teaspoon of, uh, of ground cinnamon. Okay. These are a little bit not ripe, but they're like about, to, like they're like starting to ripen. Does that make sense? Like you could still use bananas that are even more ripened than this, but these are like starting to ripe, you know? So this one's already, this was like the most ripe one right here, I think. Like these two on this side. But yeah, these are starting to ripe. Um, right now they're like starting to be sweet. The, the 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 slight browner they are, the sweeter they are, so. So these are pretty good. No, I like the banana, I like the ripe ones. That's the one, those are the ones we want, the ripe ones. And this makes two milkshakes. Do you guys want to see my new new uh, um, leg warmers? Look. They're blue. Hello, Jackal. Welcome back. Thank you. Can you really see my makeup on stream? Okay, five more minutes, chat. I might have to take them out earlier because it looks like they're burning. for like two more minutes. Okay, chat, let me make my plate of my spaghetti. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it presentable. Are you guys looking? Hold on, let me move. Move this over here real quick. Do I clean the plate? Ah, they're burning! Okay, let me turn that off. Okay. Let me shave some mozzarella on top. Mozzarella. When in doubt, add mozzarella. garlic bread okay I'm gonna give one to 
Nicholas, one to me. She's melted. So this is my plate. All right, we got the melty cheese. All right, we got the garlic bread. cheese on it and the sauce nice and steamy and hot okay let's try some of the meat with the with the pasta look at that that looks so delicious This brings me back to when I was in grade school and they had they had the um, pasta on the menu that day. Mm. Oh, just so good. really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. It's really fresh. Oh. Delicious. Oh. Mmm. really good I'm gonna finish this but let's make the dessert I'm pretty sure Nick uh, okay so 
I don't like eating anything milky with my food, but we also used to drink milk during lunch when we had like pizza and shit. Nick is, Nick would do that. Nick is going to fucking do that, but I don't really like doing that, but I'll do it this one time. So let's make our banana milkshake to end off the night. So we're gonna put two bananas. Where are the bananas? Okay. So we're gonna put two bananas. Okay. Now we're gonna do a half a cup of vanilla ice cream. Chat what he thought what he thought of it. You need scores? Yeah. I just want to know what you think of it. I give the spaghetti an eight and a half. Why? Because it could use more meat and some spice. Some spice? I you think I underspice it? I think I just put too much spaghetti. I didn't underspice it. Yeah. The bread's a nine and a half. Babe, you really want to make your own food, don't you? Can you hold on a bit? I'm making us our milkshake. Give me a second. The disrespect? I definitely did spice it. All right, I followed the freaking instructions. Listen, chat, who, who, who asked this man for him to give a score? Who asked him for a score? Because I did not ask him for a score. Okay, so add on Nick to the list of people that pissed me off today. I'm just kidding. I'm, just kidding. I'm joking. It is a joke. I'm just gonna assume this is a cup and a half. Okay, one half a cup of whole milk and a half a tablespoon of cinnamon.
milkshake. Pikachu cup. Pikachu cup or which cup do you want? I'm gonna give myself more milkshake than Nick. Babe, here's your milkshake. This says it does, it's for two servings, but this does not seem like two servings. Here's your milkshake. Can you say one more spaghetti, right? And uh, bread. And bread, okay. Wait, hold on, stay here for a second. Seconds of buddy. You take my form. Oh, no, yeah, there it is. All right, so here is our milkshake and our food. Mmm. Mmm. This is why you can't believe what Nick says. He's all he's like this spaghetti is like an a man came back for seconds. Okay, so this is a milkshake. It's very like foamy and like you guys see it? This is a milkshake. This milkshake is really good. Mm. Mm. Please make the milkshake, guys. The milkshake is super fucking good. delicious all right for our finale donating all the sub gifters all the sub gifters all the sub receivers we for throwing stacks all the time and also everyone else that has donated as well say hello to the new addition of the plushie of the plushie family Pikachu Pikachu I would say is happy that I took him out of that plushie store because the lady was mean he was probably he was she was probably mean to Pikachu as well and Pikachu, I'm sorry, but this is your welcome to the house. I'm gonna throw you across the kitchen. 
Three, two, one. Where did I buy him? From this really mean lady. Um, uh, it's if you really are interested, it's this. Um, shopping center in on Denton Road. Um, the address. There's like an H Mart there and stuff. I don't know if I should give out the address. I feel like that's the shopping center. All right, but there's a lot of shopping centers there. Um, and her store isn't the only store that has that Pikachu. There's a bunch of other stores that also have that Pikachu. But anyways, me and Pikachu say goodbye. All right. What do you think about the milkshake? Babe, you're hurting my feelings. Hey. I really like the milkshake. It was my favorite. I'm not a big fan of yeah, you're not a big fruit guy. You're not a big, you're not a big vegetable guy. You're not a big, a lot of things. No, 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 Th no. This, this shopping center is nowhere near me. It's literally like 30 minutes away from me. So <laughs> trust me, it's all good. Um, all right guys, me and Pikachu say goodbye. I'll see you guys uh, next week. Bye. Pika 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 I tried chat. I tried to make the voice. I couldn't. I don't know who makes the voice, but you do a good job because I could not do that. Hold on. Stay stay put, Pikachu, please. <laughs>